Although we know that DHS results have had a major impact on policies and programs throughout low and middle income countries, it's often difficult to find the exact link between a particular result of DHS and a policy change that's been made. That's why it was so exciting to all of us when Prime Minister Manmohan Singh from India in a national address said that he had seen the DHS results and the poor condition uh, of nutrition among children in India was a national disgrace. His response, he immediately wrote to the chief ministers of every state in India telling them to put in place new programs on children's nutrition on a war footing and to report back to him every three months on what they had done and what progress had been made. I think one of the most exciting innovations in DHS in recent years has been the introduction of biomarkers. Uh, we've always measured height and weight of children and women, uh, but starting around 1996 we started introducing new biomarkers, uh, starting with anemia and then going on to many others over the years including HIV, malaria, syphilis, and I think now we've um, done about 25 different types of biomarker tests and in all we've um, measured about 9 million biomarkers in men, women, and children uh, around the world. Uh, we've also done a number of tests that are not specifically biomarker tests but are related and one of them is to test the iodine content in salt and another one is water quality testing in water. Uh, so far we've tested for E. coli and arsenic and residual chlorine. I think one of the successes of DHS has been that it's a great vehicle for measuring all kinds of things among the general population in low and middle income countries. I think one thing that's also made it easy to compare results in population health and nutrition over time and across countries is that we work very closely with the UNICEF multiple indicator cluster surveys and we've now started working more closely with the World Bank's Living Standards Measurement Study. And we try to the extent possible to harmonize our questions, to harmonize our procedures, our methodologies, uh, and even our tabulations so that all of this information can be used to compare across countries and look at the trends in all of the key indicators over time. DHS is a major part of information collected worldwide for global indicators, including the Millennium Development Goals, the UNGAS indicators, uh, UNAIDS indicators, infant and young child feeding practices indicators, and uh, we look forward to seeing the final Sustainable Development Goals, which will come out in September of 2015, and to see the extent to which we can measure progress on those goals over time. Mm -hmm.